So you hear the word cavitation and generally speaking from an engineering perspective it's being used incorrectly in the jet boating world. Um, in jet boating really you have aeration of your pump and you can have cavitation. They're two different things. Aeration is when you're sucking in a bunch of air bubbles that already exist. But with cavitation you're creating bubbles in the pump because the pressure decreases. So you get low pressure boiling and, uh, and then when those, uh, when those bubbles collapse, when the pressure comes back up, they do so very, very violently. So you can see right in here um, some evidence of cavitation pitting. And if I turn it, you might be able to see just how deep that is. You know, it's probably a quarter inch deep. And so this pitting happens because the bubble collapses right there against this surface. And the last thing that happens is this little tiny jet of water shoots across the bubble and smacks into the other side. And if that bubble happens to be laying up against something, then boom, it knocks off a few atoms. And uh, that happens enough times, and pretty soon you've got these pits. And so in, uh, in, in industrial machinery, this type of cavitation can be a real problem because you want your machinery to last you know, thousands of hours and, and not have the blades fall apart. And uh, here's another one. You know, it's... Uh, it's probably even worse. You know, so there are, there's all this cavitation damage in the same place on this particular impeller. And then another thing to note is if you put a, um, a an inducer in front of this, this is for a Berkeley pump, if you put an inducer in front of it, it raises the pressure and reduces the cavitation. So yeah, this, this particular impeller, um, the cavitation pitting happened before I put an inducer in. And after I installed the inducer, then the cavitation pitting was much reduced. So that's another way that uh, an inducer will help the Berkeley pump. This message brought to you by Sambo and Honky. And now, by Cracker and Boy. Cracker!